let's talk about not having any options. And all the options are yucky. Let me repeat after me. Even though I'm stuck in a dead end, even though I'm stuck in a maze with no exits, and it's dead end after dead end, and I'm just tired and worn out. I deeply and completely, gently and compassionately, love, honor, and accept myself. Even though I'm stuck in, in a dead end, If I turn right or left, it's another dead end. Every option is painful. Every path out is painful and disastrous. I have no exit. And I deeply and completely, gently and compassionately, love, honor, and accept myself. Even though I have no choices left, all my dreams have gone up in smoke. And no matter which way I turn, All I have is heartache and problems ahead of me. And I deeply and completely, gently and compassionately, love, honor, and accept myself. All my options are disastrous. It doesn't matter which way I go. It doesn't matter which way I head. It doesn't matter which way I face. It doesn't matter whether I stay or move. Everything is futile. Everything leads to another disaster. It's disaster after disaster. It's problem after problem. I have no escape. I'm having to choose between two evils. I'm having to choose between only bad options. I don't like my options. I don't like any of my options. Whether I stay or go, up or down, left or right, it's just pain and problems and conundrums and obstacles. And I'm giving myself compassion because I recognize it's hard to make a choice when nothing has hope. It's hard to see a way forward. It's hard to see a path. It's hard to envision a good outcome when every scenario is problematic. There is no silver lining to the situation. It just isn't. 
I need a miracle. And I don't have one. I don't know how to move forward. I'm just stumped. I don't see a solution. I don't see a path. It's pain either way. And it's so hard for me to move forward, to be gentle in my, with, to be gentle with myself as I consider impossible options. I don't have a crystal ball to see the future. And everything looks dismal. It doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good. And that's a little bit of a problem. Because I want to grow. I want to blossom. I want to thrive. I want to prosper. But I don't see solutions. I only see problems. I see problems stacked on top of problems, stacked on top of more problems, with more obstacles and more hurdles on every path I choose. Emotionally, I'm really hurting right now. I'm afraid and I'm scared. I'm really hurting. I have my fear, my anxiety, my concern, my frustration, my overwhelm, my loneliness, my guilt and my shame. And all of these emotions are clouding my way forward. All of these thoughts and ideas, there's no way out. I can't recover from this. Is clouding my thinking and my judgment. All of these emotions, all of these scrambled thoughts, all of these limiting beliefs. I don't think I'm good enough. I'm beating myself up. I should have known better. I should have done better. I should have seen this coming. All these frustrations and irritations. And so I'm struggling. And I'm scrambling. And I feel like I'm caught in a trap with no exit. And that has, me, that has me beating myself up even more. I'm embarrassed. I don't want anyone to know about these problems I have. I don't want anyone to know about the futility of my situation. a miracle. 
But in order for me to open the door for a miracle, I have to soften these emotions. And so I'm giving myself compassion for all that I'm feeling. I'm giving myself compassion and I'm being gentle with myself for all these thoughts scrambling in my head, for all the criticism I'm giving myself. Why am I so hard on myself? So I had my blinders on. I didn't know better. Welcome to life. I'm not a perfect human being. Just like the other 6 billion people on the planet. I don't have a crystal ball in my pocket. Even the best intuitives Even the best psychics can't see their own path forward because their own world is clouded by their emotions. So I'm taking the time I need to ground myself to process my emotions. And as I ground myself and work through my emotions and pull apart all these limiting beliefs, all this criticism, all this negative script, as I unpack what I'm thinking and feeling and ground myself, the fog begins to lift. As the fog lifts, I gain more clarity. I gain enough clarity to know that I don't have to make a decision today. I can just take one little baby step to the limit that I see. I can honor me. I can breathe life into me grounding myself in the process, letting the fog lift, bringing compassion to myself and the murkiness of where I am right now. So I open myself up to moving forward in life. I'm opening myself up to recognizing the limitations of what I have. And the limitations of who I am. I'm choosing to be gentle with myself. Because it's in being gentle and softening the rough edges, that clarity can emerge. And as clarity emerges, I can see a way forward. And so I'm honoring me and honoring my emotions and honoring
sharing my thoughts and my beliefs. I'm recognizing that there's a possibility out there. There's a door that will open for me. It's closed right now. And I'm too distraught to see it. Emotionally, I can't see my options. I'm too panicked. But as I ground myself, giving myself compassion, I can take the clarity that I have and begin to tiptoe forward, bringing in the awareness that I have bringing in the resources that I have. And I can begin to forge a way forward. I can begin to honor me. Moving forward with grace and ease. I don't have to move forward quickly. I can be gentle with myself as I tiptoe forward, easing my way in, allowing myself the time to gain the clarity that I need to choose the appropriate path for me. because I'm honoring myself and recognizing there is a path forward for me. I know that I have the ability to recover. I know that I'm resilient. I know this is a learning opportunity. And as I move forward, I feel the lightness within me. I feel the clarity around me. And I feel joy emerging. I feel confidence emerging within me. My confidence was shaken. I'm questioning myself. How did I get here? But there is a path forward. And so I'm honoring that path forward. Trusting myself to move forward with ease. Being gentle as I tiptoe forward. Trusting that all is well before me. Trusting that only good lies in my future. I am bigger than this problem. And I can move forward with grace and ease. Take a breath. Grab some water, tea to hydrate. Thank you for being here. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Details below.